the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, based his application for leave to find new evidence on Order 2, Rule 12, Section 1 of the Supreme Court Rules, 1985, and Section 137, Section 1 of Nigerian Constitution, in his adventure to overturn President Bola Tinubu's election, has urged the Supreme Court for permission to file some Chicago State University document concerning Mr. Tinubu as fresh evidence to support his appeal, challenging the outcome of the disputed 25th February pool. Atiku, the former vice president among his team of lawyers led by Chris Uche, filed the application on 5th October asking the Supreme Court to grant him leave to produce and for the court to receive fresh and additional evidence documents, even a deposition on oath of an official of the Chicago State University concerning Mr. Tinibu's academic records. The People's Democratic Party presidential candidate Atiku had questioned the genuineness of the President Tinibu's Chicago State University submitted to the electoral body INEC as the candidate for the 2023 presidential election. Testifying forgery of the said certificate, Atiku argued that Mr. Tinibu was not qualified to contest the election. The presidential election petition court in Abuja, in its decision, delivered in September vacated the certificate forgery allegation in the separate petition filed by Atiku and Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi, the court affirmed the election of the president who was the candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC in the election, insisting Atiku and Mr. Obi file separate appeals at the Supreme Court to challenge the decision of the presidential election court, with each of them insisting that the court declare them winner of the election or order a fresh one. Atiku went a step further to obtain an order of a United States court to compare Chicago State University to release Mr. Tinibu's academic record. Kake of documents were released to Atiku on 2nd October on the order of the judge Nancy Madonado of the District Court of Illinois, Eastern Division, Illinois, United States of America. This is so interesting. Before I continue, this is One TV. This channel is dedicated in bringing to you latest news update, realities and true talk. You can support us by subscribing to this channel, like our videos, comment and share. Turn on the bell notification icon to get notified whenever a new video is published. And for my returning subscribers, I'm always grateful. May God reward you with all you do. Without much talk, let's continue. Looking from their both set so far, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, is relating Tinubu certificate forgery to the general election conducted on February 25, 2023, claiming it was manipulated. Of it too, that is what happened in the general election too, where election is not free and fair and wasn't carried out as planned. To look better, if Tinubu stepped down on or another election should be conducted because many looking at the whole issue. He never won the 2023 presidential election. The problem now is the Supreme Court because I don't think they will treat the issue as opposed based on the fact that they are all the same people. The 2023 presidential election showed that Tinibu lost his election in Lagos State to the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi, a well understandable Nigerian must know that that can be. They are just using that to confuse Nigeria so that it will look as if it was conducted free and fair. The same thing happened in 2015 presidential election where Boy lost election in his state to Gulok Ebele Jonathan. As said earlier, it will be very wise for this guy Tinubu to step down as Nigerian president. In the position made at the court on 3rd October, Caleb Westberg, the registrar of the Chicago State University, confirmed that Mr. Tinubu graduated from the university in 1979. Also confirming Mr. Tinibu's identity, West Beck confirmed that the same person with the name was graduated from the university in 1979, his current Nigerian president, for his being optimistic, neither confirming nor denying the genuineness of the certificates Mr. Tinibu submitted to INEC. He also said that they were not qualified to verify whether this document is original, given that it is not their possession, he said in the response to question by Atiku's lawyer. 
but insisting on the allegation that Mr. Tinubu forged the certificate under reference. Atiku is now seeking to tender the university registrar the, the position with the other relevant document leased to him by the university in support of his appeal at the Supreme Court. Atiku says the reason he tendered additional document is that forgery and prejury are a serious constitutional issue. Hence, the court should order the removal of Mr. Tinubu as president. He added that the deposition which the Chicago State University official made on oath and deposed to in the presence of the Mr. Tinubu's attorney is credible and believable and ought to be believed. He therefore asked the Supreme Court to receive the said deposition in evidence as exhibit in the resolution of this appeal. Thank you very much for listening. This is One TV. I encourage everyone listening to this voice to subscribe to this channel, turn on the bell notification icon so I can get notified whenever a new video is published. See you in my next video.